I made, I wanted to make uh, a really easy, quick mini album because I do like mini albums. So I came up with this idea that um, uses uh, just three bits of um, A4 cardstock and then the, the, the fancy paper to cover it. So it's got six pages and then I added some pockets and some tags which uh, there's another couple of sheets of A4 paper. I've left the back blank because it should take um, a nice size photograph. Um, I've got one of those um, little selfie uh, printers so as you see fits photo quite nicely. Um, so I sort of alternated on the centre page there you get two pockets and then the back is just the same. Put together using the sort of stacked hinge process. So if you imagine that's one piece, that's one piece, and that's one piece, and then just fold it over to form the pocket. Really quick and easy. So I will show you now how I made it. This is what you need to make the mini album. You need six sheets of A4 cardstock, I've chosen black because that's what I like to use and four sheets of 12 by 12 pattern paper. So to make the basic book take three pieces of black cardstock cut at slightly smaller descending sizes. The first piece is your cover piece and that's 11 and a quarter by the width of A4 which is eight and a quarter. The next sheet you cut at uh, ten and three quarters, so half an inch shorter, but the same width, A4, eight and a quarter. And then the final sheet is again half an inch shorter, so that one's ten and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And they're going to form your three main pages. You then need to take your next bits of black cardstock and you are going to cut the six tags that are going to go in the pages and these are six inches by four and three quarters and so they will hold um, a photo um, slightly smaller than a six by four um, will go on there nicely. I've got a selfie one and that will fit on there nicely. Out of the, it's quite a bit left over for various tags and things and out of the leftover bits I got the tab tops for the tags which will stick on there. If you haven't got the Stampin' Up rounded tab then you can use an oval, a circle, anything else. And then there's quite a bit of black cardstock left over um, for any matting um, that you may wish to do. Then for covering each page, these are my three bits of cardstock, uh, coloured pattern paper that I've chosen. And so out of a 12 by 12, you will get each 12 by 12, you'll get four um, page sizes which are, I've just realised, I'm going wrong size for these. These are 15 centimetres by 10 and a half centimetres. Um, these are six by four and three quarters. And then these little ones are four and three quarters by one and three quarters. So out of the three different colours you can get that. And then the mat to go with the tag, these measure 14 and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres. I always mix with centimetres and the inches just to get the easy maths. That's that size so that they fit into this pocket. 
nicely and simply. Okay, so I cut six of these, so I'm only covering one side, I'm not covering the other. And you will find that you will have lots of little bits when you've cut out your short piece, you'll have all these little bits to cut out little embellishments which is my intention to decorate the back of these mats um, to make the album look pretty. Okay, so I'm going to round all these edges um, because I quite like the rounded edge look. So I shall go and round all the edges um, so then we're ready to assemble. So see you when I've done that. I've rounded all the corners and so now it's time for the scoring. And the scoring is really easy to remember. You just score at five inches. Turn it around 180 degrees, score at five inches and you do that on all three pieces of card. They're all identical. Let's score at five inches, turn it 180 degrees, score at five inches and then the final card score five inches, turn it 180 degrees and score at five inches and you might not see there what you end up with is a quarter of an inch between each of the score lines. When folded up they will all be the same size. So then for the pocket we're scoring at two inches. So each piece is going to be scored at two inches and this is the bit that folds up to form the pocket. So then we just burnish all our school lines on each piece. So three school lines on each piece. So quick this album. one. This one's only got a quarter of an inch in the middle. And that's your, your sort of gusset. stacked hinge on top of each other so when they're folded up they will in fact all be even there like that. So before we start gluing down we need to stick down on these bits the pages that are going on these bits before we stick the pocket up. So then the decision has to be made as to which bits going on which bit. So I've already kind of made that decision. That's the back and that's the front. So that's going to be the front that's going on that edge. So that bit's going on this edge. And then I've got the pocket bit. This bit's going to go on that edge. So we're not bothered about that. This bit's going 
on that edge. So that is the bit we're bothered about. That bit's going on the under edge, so I'm not bothered about that. That bit's going on that outer edge. That's our two bits for these two middle pockets. So that bit's going on that side. That bit's going on the under edge. We're not bothered about that. That bit will be going on that edge. That bit's going on the underside. So that bit's going on the side there, and that's the back piece. So I will keep those all in order because that's in order of what's left over. Oops, that one's fell out. I'm sure I can work it out. So those bits need sticking down on there. Now, sticking the uh, pattern paper down. So I've already done two. And so now I'm going to do this last one. Um, I'm sticking them there. I have extreme problems with my hands, so I find squeezing glue a real problem. So I use Colorol um, glue because I can twist it and you don't have to squeeze, it does just flow out um, when it's full and it can go all the way around the edges so I just hold it because I really really, although I like other glue, I can't squeeze it. So I just let that flow around the edge Dun, dun, dun. And then I just give it a twist to do it up, the last little bit flows down. I leave it in a pot so it's always up, and then I take um, an empty one, which has got the spreader on it, and I just spread it around, and it can go all the way up to the edges, so you get a nice sticking point at the edges, and the glue um, has a few minutes and it says on the instructions that you're actually supposed to leave it a few minutes um, before sticking it down anyway. That's got a lovely smell too. It's probably not good for you. Um, tape pen works as well but I find they're so not economical because I do go a little bit mad with them. Put so much on. I can spend a tenner in tape pens. Okay, and then whoo, don't stick. Oops. And then that one's on that side, that one's on that side. So then right way up. It's a nice little edging all the way around so it makes sticking it on really easy. This is stripey so there is no ups or downs. There you go. And that's it. So now we've got the three of them stuck down and it's time to stick them all together. I have noticed on here I've got some marks, I'm not quite sure where they come from, but I can just cover them up. So that's not a problem. So now before we stick them together, we've got to stick this up and allow for the pocket. So I'm using, you can use like the red sticky tape, but this is Fast Fuse from Stamping Up, which I am getting to grips with. It's not over easy to use, but once it does work, it is quicker than the red tape and just as good. And this is not working because I'm on camera. Uh, I'll get some red tape. So I decided to abandon Fast Fuse and I've just gone with the red tape. So this is the one in the middle with the smallest amount, so just one 
one bit of the thicker red tape and then a strip either side here of the thinner on the middle size one then I've got one strip down each side. I've got it so it straddles the school mark so that it's there down the middle to stick and then it got the edge of the pocket and then it's thinner strip at each side on the middle strip because it's thicker I've got one down the middle those two straddle each score line and one down each side there so now I just get it off sometimes easier said than done that's come off and, and this sticks to your hands I don't like red tape that's why I was quite excited at the prospect of fast fuse because it gives you the same strong stick and the convenience of a tape pen but it's temperamental I find if somebody uses it successfully I'd be really really happy to hear how you do it I've seen tutorials instructions I still get it wrong I think I managed to break the thing the first time I used it as well chipped a bit off so that's that's that We've got our pockets there so we do that with all three of them Ah, just stabbed me finger. Oh, do you know? Bad enough, I'm in pain without stabbing me bleeding finger as well. Look, bleeding now. Here's a bleeding finger. Oh. I love crafting, but since I got rheumatoid arthritis, it's not without its difficulties. But I won't stop because it does help me forget me problems. Makes me happy. And uh, depression is something that you can suffer from with rheumatoid arthritis. So this stops me from getting down too much. Although I do find, like yesterday, when I was doing the bone folding, that uh, I overdid it on this hand and it really hurts today. I've taken quite a lot of painkillers today to help it but at least it's a bank holiday Monday and I don't have to go to school. That, so that's those bits done so now that that's done we now do the stacking on top to glue it down. So that, let me try a fast fuse again. Just so we try it. Straight down the middle. I've seen some people like it. It's just not happening, is it? So oh, not happening. So because it's um, that one's a little bit wider, so I can use the wider red tape. So I'm sticking the red tape to this. I think it's probably the easiest to then stick it down. So a bit of red tape on the back here. I'm a bit rubbish, look at that. Just about got it to the end. There we go. Tidy the ends up in a minute. So that bit's going up that bit. So on this bit, we'll have the thinner one. Thinner red tape. If I can actually get it out, there we go. I'm going to actually overlap that at the end and chop it off. There we go. That'll work. Chop. So let's just chop that back there. And then that one. 
easier from this side. Shut that bit off there. Shut that bit off there. There we go. And then I'm going to stick this one on first so let's give it a good a good rub with my poorly hurty hand. Pull it off without stabbing yourself. There we go. And then that, because you want a quarter of an inch either side, make sure you've got it the right way up. That would have been a disaster. There we go, so we want a quarter of an inch each side. So let's line it up at the bottom, quarter of an inch, follow through to the top. And then that's it. Nicely done. And then this one. Do, 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 do. Much the same. See, this has been done now without I've got that fast fuse to work. I'm sure it's my technique. And then again, this one goes straight down the middle. Center at the bottom, follow through all the way to the top, nice and straight. Is my head in the way? I do apologize if it is. There we go. So that's it. So then that now holds up nicely like that, and you can just see in there you see the quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, and all the pages meet nicely. Like that. So now we just need to stick the uh, rest of the pages on. Um, so rather than bore you with uh, watching me stick, I've done them all just doing this last one. Um, I did run out of my coral, so I am using some high tack glue which I decanted into this Cosmic Shimmer bottle because it's actually really easy to dispense from that because it's quite um, quite a soft plastic bottle. I've been to B&Q since I filmed the last little bit and bought myself some piping bit which is absolutely fab because I have difficulty with the pincer grip and this means I don't have to. It's quite thick. So uh, I'm quite been liking that. So we've got that now covered in glue. I'm going to stick that in there. So I had a little thought as well whilst I was in the car driving to B&Q and I was thinking about the fact that I've done this with A4 card and the measurements um, aren't compatible with um, used a bit of roll there um, with your American sizes so I realise you could do this just cutting down 12 by 12 and then if you just make the tags um, slightly less wide um, you can get that bit out of the bit that's, that's cut off um, so um, so then you would need three bits of 12 by 12 um, and get the same, same effect. Again, very cheap. So I'll just, I like to flatten it out because I find that sometimes you can get a little ridge and you don't want the ridge in your little mini album, do you? Maybe you do. It would be a bit weird if you did. There we go. That's that. 
and then for the tack, I'm just going to get some of that glue off, put that up there. So for the tag, I'm going to stick that on before I stick the tab on. Um, I did forget to do that to the others. Duh. Um, so I then had to cut into each one of the tabs, but it's better that you do it beforehand. I just think it's a nice little effect. So that's that. So I've got six of these. Da, 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 da. So you usually get, if you use 12 by 12, you get two of these out of the spare bit. little ball there and then that goes nice and straight like that. and then stick here so these are the retired stamping up rounded tab but you can do it with other things so the way I've done this is I've lined it up on this so that they're slightly the other side and we count in three and three from each side so we're in the centre three to line it up and fold it over like so slightly too much glue on that and then what I decided to do is to do a bit of stamping I'll show you one I've already made that. so what I've done is <coughs> using uh, some basic black and I've got this nice flower punch from the Stampin' Up Butterfly Basic set. Because these are polymer stamps, I need a bit of a stamping mat. This is a upside down mouse mat, which I don't need a mouse mat anymore. There we go, and then I'm going to just do the leaf behind in a bit of mossy meadow. I love this big fern, but I want to preserve the flower, so I stamped it onto a little bit of card. so that I can cover it, so cover it up and then just stump it over so that you've still got the flower showing through and then I took a bit of the Stamping up pens, you can use any pen you want, but this is uh, Hello Honey, and I'm just colouring in slightly, picking up the shadows in the flower. Mossy green, just colouring a bit of the leaves. Just pick 
breaking up a little bit, not masses, just to add a little bit of colour coming through. That hurt my thumb there, so I shall stop. And then I've got a little bit green there, but it doesn't matter because I'm then just cut out a couple of butterflies. So I shall just make sure that that sticks over that mark there. See, you can stick a butterfly on any mistake. So this just sort of pulls it all in with the colour. And of course decorate any way you want. This is just my choice. But see, you wouldn't know it was there. Forgot to put this upside down. Gotta leave it upside down. So that all the glue goes to the bottom and then it's easy to pull out. So, that on the joint a little opposite angle, and then to match up the little stripe, I've got a little one. So, I should just dab a little bit on there, and that will just go in there. Like so. So, there we have it. Stick that one back in there. So, so I before I stuck the front cover on, I put a bit of um, yellow ribbon there. I'm going to decorate that, but I haven't quite decided what I'm doing yet. And so. There we have that, picking up all the different colours. So room there for photo, photo, journaling, whatever. You can put some extra tabs in if you want. But it is really, really quick and easy. And you can add little butterflies on here as I've done all the way through. So embellish it as much as you want. So I think, really, from start to finish, under an hour, oh, and uh, it's done. You can decorate the spine, whatever you want. So, hope you like that. I love it, and uh, make a nice, quick, easy album um, to make. And, and to fill when you put some full size photos in there, it will uh, look absolutely gorgeous. So you can fit in there quite nicely, and one on the back quite nicely. And then you could pick a half one to go in there, or some journaling and some extra little tags for journaling and that's it thank you for watching